I'm so happy to have you. And if you've been rocking with me for a minute, what's up, what's good, welcome back. Now, if you are interested in the wig that I'm wearing right here, I did review this for one of my $20 Tuesdays. If you're not familiar with $20 Tuesday, I'll link my playlist in the description box down below. And you will also have a link for this wig down below too. This is actually my favorite synthetic natural hair wig. It mimics my natural hair very beautifully. So make sure you check it out after this video. All right, so let's get into this new wig, y'all. Today, I have a new wig by Sensational from the Wet Lace Collection, and I have her in the style Liana in the color 1B. This is Liana. All right, so when it comes to the Wet Lace Collection, you know, I've had mixed reviews overall. The first wig I ever purchased from the collection was the Celeste wig. It didn't even make it to YouTube, y'all. It was just a hot mess. The tangling out the pack was atrocious, honestly. And that first impression left a bad taste in my mouth. I was like, okay, these fibers are absolutely trash. Even though I felt that way about the first wig I tried from the line, I still continue to purchase them because one, it was hot in the streets. Everyone wants to know about it. They're like, yo, is that your hair? Are you gonna review it or not? Nah? I was like, sure. And then also I wanted to see if they'd make any improvements. So since then I did review Sensational What Lace Audrey, What Lace Chrissy, What Lace Danzy, What Lace Kiari in two colors, a 1B and a copper color. Yeah. I reviewed quite a lot, but I kind of steered away from the super long wet lace wigs because I was just feeling type of way. But then when Liana came out with this wet lace HD lace, I was curious and I was like, you know what? I should try this. What I really want to know is if this HD lace is like real or if it's just kind of like a marketing gimmick to just get us to buy these synthetic wigs. If you're not familiar with HD lace, normally on a human hair wig, the lace is almost completely see-through and when you lay it down and melt it, you know, it blends in seamlessly with your complexion no matter what skin tone you are. And some HD lace can be worn glueless without even, you know, being glued down. So, you know, synthetic wigs are supposed to give like good dupes to human hair wigs and we'll see what, what lace is talking about if it's really like an HD lace. So let's just get into it. So Liana does come as a 13 by 6 frontal here. Um, and as you can see, I'm comparing the lace to my skin and it's not quite like the gray wet lace that we became accustomed to. It seems like they changed it just a tad. In person, it looks a little bit more like a light brown. Right now, it's looking a little gray though. And of course, it's a 13 by 6 frontal area with your two combs in the front and a comb in the back. The cap feels stretchy enough, but I have my straps adjusted because I have a medium sized head. So if you wanna see me lay Liana down, keep watching. Now one thing I am excited about is I did purchase this Ebon Tint Spray. I purchased it from ElevateStyles.com and I first found out about this spray from Natural Joy. I saw her lay down her wig using this spray and it melted. You don't lie, I told you where you get it from. Girl, you scared the crap out of me. Indeed. No, Natural Joy told me about this wig spray. Yes, I she did. Sherelle. Oh, Lord. How would you know? Yeah. You don't even use tint spray. Bye. Bye. As I was saying, Sherelle, thank you for telling me about this tint spray. I'm really excited to see how it looks on this lace. I'm just going to spray some on and let it dry and then apply her. <laughs> okay, boo. Right. You saw the way he was cheesing when you asked him? That was actually quite funny. Like a little girl. 
Oh wait, damn, I need my got to be glue. Get it all, baby. You are struggling. with Liana or Liana I'm not sure which one and yeah let's just dive right into the pros the first pro to this unit as everybody knows is the hairline the sensational wet lace collection has made itself notorious in the synthetic wig community for their pre-plucked hairline and it's pretty much plucked to perfection there's really no need to pluck it any further the way they did it makes it look super natural and you know I'm looking here and those hairs, you know, it looks really good. Another pro is a 13 by six parting space. It just gives you a lot of room to play with this wig. I normally do not style my synthetic wigs. Really no real reason, I just never really did it. It wasn't until this past year, 2019, my first year on YouTube, where I noticed some of my wig bays, they would style their synthetic wigs. And I was like, oh, that looks kind of cute. Especially Kyra Sean, she does a really good job with styling. And it kind of encouraged me to like try styling one day, even though it's not normally my thing. So for this unit, because it's like super long and it has like this wave pattern, I was like, let me try the half up, half down style. Please let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. Like, do you think this is cute on me? Because I think the style is cute. So yes, just having that freedom with the parting space is really nice. I also love the style of the hair. These waves are super pretty. It's like a nice loose body wave and it's long as hell. <laughs> like on me, it comes down. Woo! Let me see if I can stand up. Uh show you guys yeah look how far down it comes i'm 5'3 and it it's like 26 inches on me wow but i love the style i think it's really nice as far as the cap size i would say it's big head friendly enough i have my wig on a tighter setting because i have a medium sized head and it's fitting me pretty snugly it comes down almost to the ears with the tighter setting so yeah to me not the biggest cap but it's definitely not too small although i do like the style and i love the hairline my main con with the wet lace collection has always been with the fibers that they use as far as the price point this collection ranges from you know 45 to 55 dollars and i would think for a higher price point the fibers would be a little bit more premium but they're not i was wearing this wig around the house as i was like getting ready to record and it was just starting to tangle up on me for no real reason i wasn't going outside i was just walking around my house probably for like a good hour or two and even now like i'm going to the nape and i can't even get to the nape shanice would not like this like i have to finger comb a lot just to get my fingers to that nape area. And again, you guys, I haven't worn this out yet at all. I did throw on like a wool sweater and I do think that affected the hair as well because when it comes to long synthetic wigs, the fabrics that you wear are super important. So something like this, this type of fabric, where it's not wooly, it's not like cashmere, it's not like a sweater material, it's not going to pull and tug on the synthetic fibers. Whereas that sweater I was wearing was definitely, you know, pulling and tugging and I noticed after wearing that sweater for at least a half an hour I noticed um it was starting to tangle and I was like oh my god this is something that I already know but I'm just letting you know in case you're not aware be mindful of the fabrics you wear especially in the winter time of course you're gonna wear sweaters but just know that it will affect the lifespan of your synthetic unit especially you know like this that is long and curly I mean this isn't gonna last long, you guys. I thought about wearing this out tonight. I'm not sure yet, but if I do, and the way I am, the way I move and shake when I'm out and about, uh, this is gonna be like a one and done. When it comes time to put this bad boy up, I'm gonna be experiencing like, oh my God. I'm just gonna be experiencing a lot of um, 
Tangling. If anyone here is new to the wet lace collection, new to their longer units, I don't want you to go in expecting, you know, it's gonna be easy breezy. This is definitely something you wear for the look that it gives, and I think it gives an awesome look. I think it looks fabulous, honestly. But the fibers are just, to me, comparable to like a $22 wig. Straight up. The fibers on a wig are super important to me and I've had synthetic wigs that have really bomb fibers and I've paid maybe a little bit less money. I just feel like Whatley's could do better with that. I don't think they will, but it would just be nice. Especially cause you know, everything else is pretty on point. At this point, I'm really just paying, you know, paying for the super nice hairline and I guess the style. So if you don't mind that, then you know, this wig might be for you. Now let's talk about this HD lace. Y'all, I don't see any difference. Like the amount of work that I put in to make this blend at the hairline and everything is the same amount I would with any other what lace unit. The only difference is that the lace color is not like ghastly white. It's maybe like a beige and I'm not beige. So I know I had to tint it. And even on top of the tinting spray, which I think definitely made a big difference. As I showed you earlier, the difference between before tinting and after, there's a difference. But for some reason that wasn't enough for me. Like I was still getting this halo effect. And the powders that I have right now, I need to switch them because they're way too red in the undertone. And my undertone is more golden, but luckily for me, I recently purchased this foundation uh, from CoverGirl. It's the, what is it? The True Blend Matte, and it was like the darkest color. One time I was in New York and I wanted to try a foundation because I didn't have the one I usually wear, and I got this one, but it was too dark for me, but it turned out to be a miracle worker for my hairline. Once I applied this foundation to the hairline, it basically took the halo away. Like right now, I'm not seeing it as much. You let me know if you still see it, but it looks like it's okay now. I can also add baby hairs, which I already know I don't do baby hairs really at all. I said I would experiment with it more in 2020, but not today, y'all. <laughs> so this was helpful. Oh! <laughs> but the HD lace, I don't get it. I don't see it. I don't see a difference. I don't, yeah. I think they just kind of tacked it on there just to say, Hey, buy me. I don't think it's like a true HD lace. I don't think it's any thinner than the other lace that they've used on the other styles. But that's just my opinion. Let me know what you think. Overall, Leanne is cute, but I just hate the tangling that I'm getting from her. It's definitely giving me Celeste vibes, which y'all know was a little bit traumatic for me back when I was first learning how to do frontals. So yeah, I wouldn't get this again, but it's giving me a look right now. I think it's really cute. It's giving the human hair look for less. That's what most people want, right? So please let me know your thoughts on Liana in the comments down below. How do you feel about this HD lace that they're purporting on the stock card? How do you feel about how I did with the hairline and blending and getting rid of that halo thing going on? How do you feel about this updo? Let me know, drop a comment down below cause y'all know I love when y'all talk to me. And if you are new to my channel, make sure you tap that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I am about to reach a special milestone on my channel and I can't wait to share it with you all tomorrow for $20 Tuesday. I'm excited. I'm happy that we made it to 2020 together and that we're growing as a family. And yeah, let's just keep it going. Also, if you want to see some of my other latest videos, check them out over here to the right of me. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.